I'm Jeff Harshbarger. I'm Brian Haas. Chris Combs. Mark Sutherland. Josh Raymer. They have like fun. I like this one. This is a good arcade. I really like the twenties. The nineteen twenties is might be my favorite as far as going way back in time. But yeah, this is a pretty good decade we're in right now. If I had to go back in time, I'd do the 55 to 65. Mm. That'd be my decade. Mine would just be the uh, 60s. Love the 60s. Do you love know the 60s? I'll take the 70s just for Miles and just for this. There's there's no questions about our favorite movie coming up, are there? That's what I have I don't to think ask. So. Okay. I don't okay, think so. Great. That's close. Uh, Guilty pleasure? Um, man, that's a good question. I, I'm, I don't really sometimes get guilty about much. We only have, <laughs> we, just, we, have we have many pleasures. We're many. probably pleasurable, <laughs> but none of them are guilty. Guilty pleasure? Man, that's a dang good question. Sometimes guilty. I eat really bad cereal when I've had too many too much to drink and I'm going home late night after a gig. That's a good guilty pleasure. I'm trying to think of something that's a great question. Cereal. Sometimes I eat fried chicken. There, there's That'll some guilty pleasure. guilty pop songs. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Because oh, of yeah. the kind of music we play, there's like, you know, I shouldn't really like Katy Perry, but there's a couple of Katy there, Perry songs. Yeah. I oh, like. I've got Lady Gaga. And I feel pretty guilty about it. Lady, <laughs> I, I've got a guilty pleasure. It would be Lady Gaga for sure, as long as, <laughs> as, long as you're going to mention that. I, yeah. I love her videos. They really get me going. I love I love Lady Gaga's. She's got several videos that are like ten minutes long that are like tiny movies, like Telephone right, right. and Alessandro or whatever that is, Alejandro, whatever it is. I, I love Lady Gaga's longer and videos. And the, the Katy Perry song about uh, uh, "You're so gay, you don't even like boys." I think it's really great, but I, I wouldn't like admit it on film or anything. Right. right. Never, <laughs> never, never, definitely not. Definitely. Definitely. Archie, what's your guilty pleasure? Uh, I should have gotten over Journey a long time ago. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I didn't. Great question. Thanks for trumping us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> smooth jazz. <laughs> smooth, smooth jazz. Um. Kenny G. Kenny G. This is one sound that I can honestly, I mean, hate is a strong word, but for him it's not strong enough. Whining. I hate right. whining. I don't ever want to hear anybody whine. That's right. Why not? <laughs> Gandhi. We do. Um, Terrence Blanchard. Terrence Blanchard. Inspiring show mm -hmm. last night. Um, I saw. John Coltrane inspires all of us. Wayne Shorter. Mm -hmm. Wayne Shorter's new quartet with Brian Blade, Denny O. Perez, and Patitucci inspires us in a big time. Pharaoh Saunders. Um, Love him. Jason Moran, VJ Iyer, Marco Benevento. Farmer. <laughs> For sure. Uh, Storm Chaser. <laughs> That's what I just want to do. Or, of course, the NBA. You know. <laughs> A scientist, something micro. You know, microbiotic kind of, some kind of crazy science thing. I'd get into theoretical physics. I, I'd totally do that. I also would like to be an actor maybe when I grow <laughs> up, and maybe a, a chef. There's a lot of, a lot of aspects of being a chef that's very similar to being a jazz mu musician. I, and now that yeah. I've gotten into cooking, I'm like amazed at how good I am at it. That's why my wife thinks I'm good. At cooking, because I've never really done that much of it. Uh -huh. if you give me some ingredients, and I go in a kitchen. Yeah, I can. Like, I've, I've that been loving kind of weird jazz yeah. alchemy kind of thing mm -hmm. going on. I might do the stand-up comedy thing too. Oh, yeah, there you, should. Should. Dude, you should start that. You should do that anyways. Yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, I bomb every day in the van, so. What the <laughs> <laughs> well, a couple nights ago, I thought you started it on stage with us. Kind of did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bombing. <laughs> Just the stand-up. I wasn't going to say whether he was good or bad. Mm. Water. Lots of water. Lots and lots of water. Also multivitamins. Um, clean clothing. Um, 
What else? I bring a rag and a screwdriver to every. Mm-hmm. I've been bringing a Green Line Six and a and a Sansamp to every show. Within the last two years, I bring a hosophone to every every show, which is. Sort if of you're weird. gonna if you're gonna stay for the show, you can find out what a hosophone is. But that's your instrument. Isn't it? It's not my. It's not my main instrument. Yeah, really. It's definitely something I don't normally bring all the time. Sure, but <laughs> now I do to every gig. I also bring books. I bring books to every gig for some reason. I never read them, but I bring them to every gig. I bring essential oils to every gig. I bring crystals to every gig. <laughs> and I have for years books, essential oils, and crystals. <laughs> kind of a jazz hippie. I was referring to the first bad rock concert I went to. Yeah, so the Black Crows is my first. Oh, my first wow, real show. you almost topped me. It's hard. <laughs> my age difference to top me. What do I remember? I, I remember that all the Beach Boys were wearing pretty much matching shirts. <laughs> my first show was that Christian artist Carmen, and he was <laughs> rapping his. <clears throat> what was it? Addicted to Jesus, and I remember lots of crazy people dancing. It was pretty terrible. Carmen was rapping? Oh yeah, he was full on rapping. <laughs> and the song's called Addicted to Jesus. Addicted to Jesus. <laughs> so what <laughs> shit like Wow, all, that's amazing. We've all admitted and, and that's this pretty bad, the worst. right? This is the best. My first, first concert was Phil Woods with Tom Harrell playing with him. It, it was I was eight and realized I, I have no idea what I'm watching, but it's completely Completely blowing my mind. First concert with Phil Woods. And I want to. And I want to hear he this wins. more. <laughs> we win. That's it's very cool. Yeah. And they were lovely, very wonderful, kind humans. I got to meet them afterwards. Nice. And they were. I think they were just kind of blown away that an eight-year-old kid was like, "I really like this show." They're like, <laughs> "Really? <laughs> <laughs> Your dad didn't tell you to say that." <laughs> no. <laughs> I really liked it. <laughs> you have nice tone on your sax. <laughs> You sound much better than my daddy. Well, yeah. I think I said that. I think I actually said that next. <laughs> you play a lot better than my dad. It's no wonder why you're on this big stage. <laughs> Orion Small from Norman, Oklahoma. Dead mm. Sea Choir from Tulsa. Yeah. Crystal Warren from Kansas City. Helen Jolay from New Orleans. I got one. As in we from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Hugging. Hugging. We come together every show. Before every show, we, we get in a big man hug. <laughs> That's it.